In this video, I'm going to teach you how to troubleshoot something that someday is probably going to happen to you in Premiere Pro. Now, this doesn't happen too often, so you're not going to need to know this until it happens and then you're going to be scrambling around because you're going to really want to know how to solve this problem. Have you ever seen these lines show up on your footage in Premiere Pro? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of them so you can go on your merry little way editing like you intended to as if they were never there. So let's hop into Premiere Pro right now and I'm going to show you how to get rid of these danger stripes. All right, so we're in Premiere Pro and I've opened up a project that I worked on a year or so ago. Initially, I was working on this project on my desktop where I had all of the assets saved and once this project was complete, I copied everything off onto a hard drive. My client asked me to change a few things in this project, so today I opened the project up from the hard drive and likely because I was originally editing this project on my desktop, then I moved everything onto a hard drive. Somewhere along the way, some of these master clips unlinked. And as you can see, I have a few clips on my timeline that have these diagonal gray lines through them. Even though the placement of this clip shows up on my timeline, the media itself isn't showing up. So to fix this, let's right click on this danger stripe file and click on reveal in project. And this will show us where this clip is in our project window. There it is right there. You can tell because it's now highlighted. And now that we have this clip selected in our project window, let's go back down to the timeline again, right click and click on replace with clip from bin. Awesome. And there you go. You no longer have those danger stripes. Now, if you have more than one clip on your timeline that has the danger stripes on it, like I do here, then you have to go to the next clip and follow the same steps to relink the timeline clip to this next raw footage clip in your project window like so. We'll select the second clip on the timeline with the danger stripes, right click, click on reveal on project, and there is that clip in the project window. Let's go down to the clip again, click on replace with clip, from bin, and that has replaced this second different clip from the first one with the correct footage. I'm gonna press Command Z on my keyboard to undo that because I wanna show you something else. So there we go, we have the danger stripes up again on this clip. With this clip selected, I'm gonna drag it over to the right of the project and drag the duration of the clip out. Okay, so again, we'll reveal in project, and once that clip is highlighted in the project window, we'll do the same thing replace with clip from bin and check this out. At the end of this clip that we've just reconnected, there are still some danger stripes. The actual clip, the actual footage isn't this long, but Premiere Pro doesn't know that when you drag out the clip with the danger stripes on it. So let's just drag this clip in a little bit. Okay, and when we go to drag it back out, it doesn't drag out anymore because Premiere Pro has reanalyzed this clip now that it's been relinked and this is the actual duration of the clip. So there you go. There's one more thing I wanna show you when it comes to these danger lines. So let's look at this audio clip with the danger stripes through it in a slightly different scenario. Let's say that you have a clip that's no longer in your Premiere Pro project for whatever reason that you need to replace. Let's right click on this audio clip and click on make offline. Okay. Now let's right click again and click on link media, locate, and you'll want to locate this original clip in whatever file you have it saved in. Okay. And now this audio clip is linked. Perfect. There you go. That's how you get rid of danger stripes in Premiere Pro. Because I'm someone that edits in Premiere Pro every single day, pretty much, and I'm also someone who's clumsy, who's forgetful, and who does make mistakes, I have, with the help of Will in many cases, learned how to troubleshoot a lot of different issues that Premiere Pro has presented. So I want to hear from you in the comments. Let me know something that you may have experienced when you're editing in Premiere Pro that's not working out the way it's supposed to, because likely I have been through the same thing as you're going through and I've had to solve that problem. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. That's the only way we're gonna know. And we're putting out new videos weekly on YouTube all about filmmaking, editing, and we throw in some traveling vlogs here and there. 
So for more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you're notified when we put those new videos out. And we will see you at a later date unless you go through our videos and watch more right now. And we'll see you in another video.